tell you the buzz at halftime is all about the performance of that in that first half by the Hong Kong backs especially and uh, Alistair McClay got on the uh, scorecard and that pleased a lot of people around our commentary position here and uh, Charlie French getting another one but we we'll take a look at the uh, highlights of uh, that uh, first half a great performance and here's the uh, first one and here's the uh, the first try, great run, Alistair McClay diving over and uh, it was a great piece of the back play. Here's the uh, second one and this one is uh, Alistair McClay setting the uh, ball up and it goes out to uh, Charlie French and Charlie delighted to get a try. And here's the uh, third one, Lee Jones this time, great break again at the uh, back but uh, that's uh, the slow-mo of the, the uh, try that uh, Charlie got and here's uh, Great run by Ron Barthy down that uh, far side, switched wings, got the ball up off the ground and uh, there was uh, Lee Jones to run in try number three. So great performance from the uh, home team and uh, there's the uh, stats and you can see the three tries score, three conversions, uh, the man with the boot. Michael Glancy on song today and you can see the uh, tackles there the missed tackles as well and the uh, scrums it's just all been about uh, Hong Kong at the moment Kazakhstan have to really lift in this uh, second half and they've lost one or two against the uh, head and the uh, teams are all back on the uh, ground and we're uh, ready to uh, get the uh, second half underway and the, it's the captain of the Kazakhstan side uh, Brezikov Ildar Abdrazikov going to start. They're going to be uh, the team in blue kicking from the left of your screen to the right. Uh, where we go and again the uh, Kazakhstan side seem to lose the ball. They drop the ball again and this is a breakaway by uh, Keda Lee who's had a very very good first half. Very very impressed with the uh, 20 year old and the last on the referee's whistle and uh, the referee is going to uh, is going to uh, start it with a scrum, and of course uh, Kazakhstan are still without their uh, out half. Abrakov he uh, was uh, sin binned, and he's got about another three or four minutes to go before he can come back into the action. So the Kazakhstan team are still down to 14 men as they get into this uh, scrum, and the uh, ball ball in the scrum slow movement from the ball coming out of the scrum and uh, now long pass again and here go the uh, Hong Kong side again here's Abati down this side going to be tackled taken out of play good tackle by the uh, captain and the uh, cover winger coming across and that was uh, Zakharov and the uh, ball has gone out again but uh, this time another mistake made and uh, again we've had a lot of whistling uh, Robbie is back with me Robbie McRobbie and uh, I'd say you went down there at half time and you heard good news from Guy and from Lee as far as Hong Kong was concerned seems all very positive in the changing room uh, yeah. Hong Kong obviously I think very happy with uh, the first half performance and they've come out they're straight back on the front foot um, for this 40 as well so yeah I think it's uh, it's all good on the Hong Kong side. A few, uh, few more worried faces in the Kazakhstan changing room. Exactly, and uh, one young man uh, on the sideline. There's about a, well, there's about 40 seconds left, and that's the uh, man who was uh, yellow carded at the end of the uh, first half. Kabikov, uh, and he's ready to come back in. But uh, we have uh, a problem with one or two of the uh, players, and uh, we have the Kazakhstan two of their players and number 23 to the he's come back in they've been pushed off the ball at the uh, scrum which is a nice flick up and it goes to their uh, number nine and that's the uh, scrum half thrown in but then he puts it down and you don't give the ball to the uh, backs of Hong Kong at the moment they're speed merchants and they race away with uh, not releasing penalized and uh, it's going to be a free kick to Kazakhstan. Lee Jones penalized by the referee for not releasing. And are they going to have a shot? No, they're not the captain. Abdrezikov going to kick for a touch. Finds a good touch as well. 
Yeah, as you mentioned, uh, Robbie, before half time, uh, there will be ringing the changes on uh, both sides, but uh, it'll be interesting the first couple of minutes to see uh, if the Kazakhstan side will uh, sort of change the uh, modus of a red die. They have to. The time is, is running out for them in, in the in the top five. Unfortunately, Colin, they've, they've, they've got 40 minutes left to win this game and score four tries if they want to be playing in the top level next season. Um, exactly. So they've really got to uh, pull something out out of the bag here because uh, at, at the moment they just don't look like scoring a try and uh, well we're waiting for that scrum to uh, reform the uh, outside half for Kazakhstan uh, and the Biakov he's uh, gone back out after after serving his uh, full 10 minutes on the uh, the bench now they're back to uh, 15 The uh, head. They get the uh, the ball from the scrum. Good pass in inside to the number 13 Zakharov. Still taking it forward. Now they got it with the base of the scrum. Let's see what they're going to do with it. Again, it's the uh, Alexander Zakharov who uh, collected it. Now they try to bore their way forward. Still keeping possession, so at least they're not throwing it away like they did in that uh, first half. I think well, they're, they're recycling it well. Yeah. It's very, um, very simple stuff. Pick and driving, they're going straight up the middle each time, uh, just trying to take on Hong Kong in terms of physicality. Uh, but Hong, Hong Kong, to be honest, I think they're matching them. Yes, um, and uh, I just don't yeah. think they're going to they're going to break through by keeping on doing this. I think they've got to they've got to they try have to, they have spinning to move it. Wide. it. tries to move it. They move it across the back. They can uh, give it off, but the ball has gone forward, lost forward, and they can be, can be clear downfield in a long chase now downfield for the Kazakhstan side. And uh, going back is the number 18. They brought him on uh, at uh, half time. And uh, that's uh, Kuklav. Mistake at the back by uh, Hong Kong that time. And that looked like. Uh, the mistake was made by uh, like Rory Hussey was out there, is it? With the headgear, I don't think it is. I think it's Yu, Yu Kam Singh actually, He's ban he got bandaged up at half time, so he had a, oh bit, of a bit of a blow to his head. Yep. Yu Kam Singh. He's the number 18 for Kazakhstan. It's good enough. Good leg drive from Yu Kam Singh. Making some good yardage and Hong Kong on the attack again. Kata gets it all. Oh, lovely Clever. piece of uh, clever play by them, but he's got all on his own at the moment. He's got a man now, and this is uh, Ron Darty, and he's got a clear run to the uh, goal. And he had a clear run. He had two men inside him, and two of them were uh, forwards. And uh, they got up there to help him. Ian uh, Ridgeway was one. He's a fast merchant around the uh, the ground, and there is the uh, ball being laid off to Lee, and Lee's got a man outside him, and that's going to be very easy, an easy score again for Nick Houston. Well, Robbie, you're going to be in big trouble here as he scored two tries. Popular score in Hong Kong. Nick, <laughs> Nick's a former former skipper of the, of the national team, very popular lad. Um, and he'll be he'll be delighted with uh, with that nice easy run in after some great work from Rowan Barty really uh, opening his legs and showing his class fantastic yeah. play and again uh, very very quick thinking by uh, Keda getting the ball out moving it there's Nick fourth career try in Asia five nations not a bad strike rate for uh, one side flanker. Exactly. Here's the man that's unsung all day. Yep. Glancy's magic Glancy. boots have. Uh, they've not missed so far. No. Five from five. We'll be very proud of that. Yeah. Let's see what he can do with this. The other end. A little bit of sun shining down on him. It doesn't affect it, does it? No, the flags go up. So that's six from six. He's really on some. 
might be coming through and looking for a bonus. <laughs> of course, I will, uh, I will try him afterwards and say that it was his Gaelic football training in, in Ireland that made him kick straight. <laughs> well, there, there were a few uh, Gaelic football practitioners in, in Hong Kong rugby, and Rory Hussey, in fact, uh, right. who um, I expect we will be seeing shortly. He's someone who's come from Gaelic football and has superb superb skills yes, honed yeah. on the on those Gaelic, Gaelic football teams, yeah. yeah. And again the, the Hong Kong team take it out again and they have the touch down the line and there's going to be a race for possession here. Fullback going across and uh, this time he's able to collect it but he's uh, he's all on his own. He had no help or support whatsoever. Hong Kong have uh, gained possession again true uh, and uh, the uh, referee blast on the whistle. Meanwhile, Hong Kong have uh, taken. Uh, they are going to. Uh, they're taking and making a change, and it's going to be uh, number 20 is going to come on. Peter McGee is going to come in. Um, I think when the, after this, uh, there's a couple of players down in the front of us. Uh, we can also see besides uh, Peter McGee, the uh, number 18 on his back, uh, Venice, the lock. So there's going to be a couple of changes. And Mark Wright is going to come into the game as well. Yeah, that, that's I think uh, going to be exciting to see. Mark, Mark is really uh, on some at the moment, had a huge game in Japan. The yep. tackle count was massive. So good to see Mark out there. Re Renault Chabani, our. Uh, the French second row and uh, Pete McKee Zara. coming on for Cadu and, Lee uh, and I think Cadu could be very proud of uh, the way that he's played today. Danny, Danny Watson is uh, off as well and uh, the uh, out half is uh, coming off is it? Yes. So Mark Wright goes in for the captain. So uh, the captain goes out. So we have a, a new uh, attacking setup for uh, Hong Kong. Mark right, Mark right immediately into the attack there. Good ball with uh, like McQueen again inside, and they can recycle it and they get it out to uh, Peter McGee. And McGee goes forward. Good pass. And they get it back. Yes, they can. They get it back to uh, Peter McKee. And uh, the ball on the ground, but the uh, last time the referees whistle, they're going back. The penalty quickly taken, <laughs> unfortunately, the referee and Peter McGee got into a dance. <laughs> Run into each other. Pete McGee's a very solid player, he's a normal half back partner for Mike Lancy, so. The two of them have got a very good understanding mm -hmm. together. Uh, Mike's Scots lad, part yep. of uh, quite a strong Scots contingent in this uh, in this team, including of course Ali McLean, the centres, ex Glasgow yep. Hawks, and uh, one of the coaches, in fact, um, uh, Andy Hall, uh, one of the assistant coaches, and he's an ex Scotland international. So a very strong jock influence mm -hmm. in uh, exactly. the Hong Kong team. And now there's a change for uh, Kazakhstan. They're going to uh, they're going to make a change. They're taking off their uh, number five, the uh, second rower, Sherikov. Uh, Sherikov goes off. And Actually, he has been put in the bin. So Kazakhstan down to uh, 14 men again. That was uh, something that the uh, the luck that we got involved with. The Daily Shakarov, he's got 10 minutes in the bin. And it, it's exactly what we talked about in the first half, Colin. Kazakhstan cannot expect to win these games if they can't keep 15 players on, on the pitch. Undisciplined, and that's that's going to upset the, uh, that's definitely going to upset the uh, coach. There's um, Satayev has gone in, uh, Alistair Satayev. Satayev. He's gone in and uh, they're bringing out the uh, out half and B-Cock. Uh, Hong Kong 
side again. Great break up the middle by uh, Lee Jones. They can recycle it again. Oh, that came very, very hard and fast straight to, uh, to McClay. But it hit him, I think, on the shoulder. He'll be disappointed. I think he was cleaned through. He'd managed mm -hmm. to, to keep his, his hands on that. But uh, as you say, Pete McKee rocketed that one out. Exactly. He came, as you say, very, very fast and was high as well. As it's then going to. Uh, to play if number 22 is going to come in and also uh, the number 16 Alistair Zateyev the 26 year old who plays with Olin he's ready to uh, come in very not happy wants them to sort themselves out up front pleased with the performance of uh, Ian Ridgway and, and the front three actually have uh, done very well haven't they they've played tremendously well yeah. and I think for, for one of them I suspect probably Stephen Nolan it likely be the last scrimmage of the game for him. I can see Alexson warming up on the sidelines for Hong Kong, um, but certainly the front row and in fact the front five for Hong Kong can be very, very pleased with their performance today. At the ground, of course, we had a lot of uh, heavy rain in Hong Kong for uh, six hours before the uh, start of this game. Uh, the ground was uh, just uh, magnificent uh, because uh, a lot of the water, Robbie has said, uh, disappeared. Um, great drainage. Held up very well. It's, it's, yeah. it's uh, first division football ground out here and uh, yeah, it's in good condition considering we're at the end of the football season. Um, but yeah, <laughs> 11 o'clock this morning there was a lot of surface water. There was a lot of rain, I can tell you. But it's great to see the uh, big crowd here at the Mong Kok Stadium. First time since 1999 that uh, we've had an international here. And great to see the uh, turnout of uh, the uh, supporters coming here. There's the uh, score on the screen, 34 to uh, Hong Kong against Kazakhstan. Nil. They've got to get on the board. I think uh, time has caught up with them in every sense of the word. They, they can't see them getting four tries and a and a bonus point break away by Kazakhstan and then they, they gave the uh, they gave the ball away to Ian Ridgeway and uh, Hong Kong stands for in and there is uh, Ian Ridgeway taking it forward again they're uh, recycling it moving it across the line uh, talking of uh, the uh, crowds enjoying it, uh, Robbie, and um, the great attendance, 3,500 and nearly 3,400 people here. Delighted, yeah. delighted to see that. That's, that's wonderful. And, and another uh, try for Hong Kong. Another try as uh, we speak with a uh, pass from uh, Michael Clancy and uh, the uh, big man racing. And it looks. Uh, Second try for Ali McClay. Yeah. They got a, a second one. So, Nick Houston and himself will. Uh, here's the uh, break by McClay. And Clancy, Clancy inside. And Han Kushaw. Big, strong boy. They, w they weren't going to stop him from that distance. That's the, uh, the pass. And uh, Alistair McClay. Second try of the uh, afternoon. And, uh, and a couple of uh, changes again. Number uh, 22 is gone in there for uh, for Hong Kong. Anthony Haynes, the uh, center, the 23-year-old. And your prediction is correct. I see Stephen Nolan walking off slowly. He's put in his uh, his day's work out there. Yeah, the the horse as he's known. That's uh, his. And successful afternoon comes to an end. Yeah. His successful afternoon comes to an end. The successful afternoon for Mike Lancy continues. 7 out of 7. Well, the number 10. And that's Ali McClay off the field now. So yeah. he uh, won't be adding to his two-try tally. But um, he's not a greedy man. I'm sure he's uh, very satisfied with his afternoon's work. 
just checking to see who is uh, going to go in. I just see down on the bench uh, Rory Hussey is still down there, so he's waiting for a, a bit of action. Meanwhile, the uh, ball back in the 22 has Kazakhstan tried to go forward. Now they can get it away again, and they have still got the Don Dorothy out here. He tries to go inboard with it, kicked it off the Kazakhstan player. And the uh, ball goes back to their number four, Makarenko. Makarenko takes it forward, but can't uh, advance any further. And the uh, ball left behind, booted forward, and the referee is going to call a halt. I think those changes are, are just having a bit of an effect. It's a scrappy period of play for yep. both teams. Uh, I think once uh, the newcomers to the battle bed themselves in, I'm, I'm sure that... Uh, we'll get a little bit more quality back in the game because at the moment there's just a few too many unnecessary mistakes from both teams. Stephen Nolan out. Alec Umi. Well, Alec has just, just come back from a season in, in Wales. Um, mm -hmm. So he's, he's uh, talking with a, well, a, a Welsh lint. Uh, <laughs> but no, I think it's been a great experience for him. and. and uh, the, the opportunity to test himself against some of the hard scrimmages uh, you know, in, Wales. in Wales has, has uh, brought his game on considerably. That's right, you, you could uh, go around the world and, and not learn like, a great deal, but uh, especially in Wales you could learn a great deal, especially about scrums and halfbacks. When they run, they, uh, they, they used to say that they ran halfbacks off a conveyor belt. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> when they had the great Barry John and Edwards and the Williamses and all of those guys. Yeah, Hong Kong's actually been a pretty uh, fertile ground for props over the years. We've had a number of uh, very successful props and a number of them that are actually in the in the audience today. Leighton Dooley and mm. Dave Lewis and um, big strong men from from the past. And Alex and the, the latest in that succession. Exactly. Good ball out by uh, Kazakhstan. To their, uh, to Shanik, Vladimir Shanik, and now there's a, a chase on by the number 23, but he unfortunately is held up, lost the ball, and there's a long clearance downfield, chasing back for Leonid. High, highest today, I would think. Oh, Nikusin. That's the one black mark against him. I saw performance today, he dropped that one. Again, Kazakhstan moved the ball and then they leave it behind Sakharov. Just that retention for Kazakhstan just seems to be a problem. It's the ball slipping out of the grasp, not going to hand, and it's uh, giving Hong Kong, who are, who are putting good pressure on, the, the opportunity to just keep on turning the ball over at, at crucial points where, you know, you think Kazakhstan have got just when you think they've got a chance to, to score a try and the ball ends up in Hong Kong's hands. So number uh, 17 comes into the action, Alex Harris, the 24-year-old, uh, is in the action and uh, coming out is uh, Thomas Bollock, so he's done in as the, uh, as the hooper. Yeah, Bollock's had a, another strong game, he's had a good campaign, yeah. hard-running Hooker, um, good at the technical aspects of the game, but it's uh, Alex Harris is certainly no less a player, and, uh, and he'll be keen to make a mark in, in the time that he's got left. He's down there. Kazakhstan held up again, but they uh, they can move it out the back to uh, Baratov, and uh, this kick ahead they've gone over the uh, touch line. put in by uh, Harris, the man we were just talking about, Robbie, just come in. So as you say, he wants to uh, give an impression. The best way is to make sure that his team collect the, the line-up ball. Yeah, first early test. Yeah. Well, they threw it forward and short. Hong Kong keeps that possession. And Kazakhstan team in the blue and the blue. There's a bit of oh, the fun and games going on over there. And, uh, a few 
few handbags, Colin. Yeah, a few handbags in a couple of cases. The referee has told everyone else to uh, go away. And I think he will bring the uh, two culprits because most of us saw who they were. And he's going to bring them together and have a little chat, is he? He's brought the captain up anyhow. So, uh, Trezikov. There's a yellow card coming out. So, uh, it's been a fairly short uh, <laughs> appearance for Alexson. Exactly. Uh, do, do you think he learned that in uh, Wales? Yes, maybe. There you go, you see. off so that would be he didn't do anything to the uh, man who seemed to have uh, thrown a punch over there but uh, maybe everyone in the uh, ground saw now of course the Kazakhstan player who was in the uh, bin the second row uh, again he Shakarov is back on the park the number five there he is on the bottom of your screen running back into the action Alex has uh, taken his his seat, which he's been keeping uh, keeping warm for him. <laughs> exactly. Even though there are two uh, chairs down there, so it's nice of the he'd say nice of the uh, Kazakhstan player to keep the seat warm. Throw in inside the Hong Kong 22. Good ball thrown in. Well collected. Can they move it forward? Can they keep it at the back? Now it's gone to ground. This is still held up where it's at the back of the scrum and they clear it. They can, but it can took the eye off the ball. You could see him looking. You know, you could see him looking around and now again we're back into fun and games. I don't know how, how many of these unforced errors are from from Hong Kong pressure or, or whether it's just you know, basic skills that the, the Catholic boys are lacking, but just time and time again they're yeah. they're knocking on um, pass is not going to hand. Um, not a very polished performance, you, you have to say. No, I, I must say, uh, Robbie, that I, I watched them in uh, training in the last two days uh, here in Hong Kong. And uh, in the training sessions, that was one of the things that the, the uh, two coaches, um, Alexander Stelmachowicz, was uh, pointing out to them. They seem to be dropping a lot of the ball. Just have to get that bit right. If they can, if they can get that bit right, you know they have all the other elements. Uh, they can put it together, as we've seen once or twice. But that's a, a big lead for Hong Kong. 41 points to nil. The referee has decided he wants to have a chat with a few of them over there. And, uh, Interesting to see how that communication is working with the yes. uh, Japanese ref for Kazakhstan captain and uh, Nick Houston the Kiwi mm. and Drazikov uh, speaks a little English because um, I spoke to him yesterday probably more than Nick <laughs> <laughs> so Nick has gone back to uh, communicate Did you see him there on the left of the picture with the head here replacement hooker 17, Alex Harris. And behind him, uh, number 20, Peter McKee. He actually had a go. There's the uh, two coaches for the Kazakhstan team. Then wearing the uh, striped shirt, Stamakovic. That's uh, Rory Hussey yeah. taking the field for Hong Kong. Uh, Rory Hussey has gone in and uh, coming out is Mark uh, Goosen. And, uh, is, um, Stephen Nolan having to retake the, the field for the scrum with yeah. Alex Sung in the sun soon bin yeah. and uh, acting captain Nick Hewson taking a, a rest to allow Stephen Nolan back on. Yeah. And uh, Guy Reese down there having a word with the uh, with him. So poor old Stephen Nolan who thought that his <laughs> afternoon was uh, was over <laughs> was done and dusted. go back in on a hot afternoon. Got another 17 minutes to survive. Do you think you survive that? <laughs> so Kazakhstan putting pressure on the second man. Hong Kong's gone, but Hong Kong's taken away with it. And he needs support on this side and he's got no one. He's got to go to ground with it. 
and hope that they have something. Now they have. They're all uh, lining up on this side. They can uh, swing it out to McQueen. McQueen is trying to find um, Rowan on this side. And Rowan uh, and the ball, ball and everything taken. Touch me while the skipper for Kazakhstan address a cough down with a bit of cramp. And uh, also another player injured. There's the uh, skipper, Drazikov. 25 years of age. Actually, it's interesting to note, Robbie, that uh, Drazikov has played in every one of the series so far. This is the fifth series, and he's played in all. Oh, that's quite an impressive, yeah, impressive, impressive record. Yeah, yeah I, think, I think those Kazakhstan players will be, will be feeling it now. I mean, they've, yeah. they've uh, had a long flight to get here, been in town 48 hours, and it's, a, it's been a, a yeah. very, very hot, humid day. Uh, so, unfortunately, I can I can see a few of them are going to be wilting over the remaining 15 minutes of the match. Exactly, and I'm sure that's uh, what Di Reese and uh, Lee Jones were saying to the uh, players down there, especially to Nick, saying, you know, they're going to run out of legs so you can uh, pile on a few more tries. Scrum down in front of us, right on the Kazakhstan 22, but they win the ball. They get it away cleanly to... Uh, they are not. This time penalized on the uh, far side. It might have been uh, going in sideways for the uh, Rory Hussey. And this, uh, so the changes continue. And Hoff Love, the number 19, getting ready to come into the action. But meanwhile, they have the. Uh, Player down injured, they're gonna keep the touch. The doctor runs on. And the uh, player that's down uh, at the moment is uh, Zakharov, Alexander Zakharov, the 22 year old, 19, has uh, gone into the action. Alexander Hoklov, the 26 year old, tall man, six foot tall, getting ready, but in the uh, back play, we're still keeping an eye on Zakharov, who's uh, been attended by the doctor. The referee is just there waiting. The referee from Japan says it's okay. Doctor is happy. Sakharov can continue. And the line out. Menchikov. Sergei Menchikov. To throw it in. Goes to the back of the line. Good ball, but it wasn't straight. Just un untidy again, Colin. Yeah. That's a. Uh, and Kazakhstan are against a, a seven-man Hong Kong pack and not to be able to secure clean ball from, from a set piece in that situation is, is really just criminal. Uh, Rory Hussey is getting into a little bit of a little contretemps with the one or two of the Rory, Kazakhstan. Rory's uh, not a player who uh, takes a backward step. No. He's, um, he's Irish, Colin. And, uh, <laughs> you know what they say, fighting Irish. <laughs> Exactly. Let's just hope he can stay on the pitch for the, uh, the remainder of the game. Yeah, he's, uh, he's eyeballing someone in that back uh, as it stands side at the moment. But here he is at the back of the scrum, picked it up, looking around for uh, some support. He's uh, taken to ground by the uh, flanker, uh, Shuralev. And now the referee saying penalty, a free kick. Mike Clancy is staying out there. He's not coming off, is he? Doesn't want to give anything up. Seven out of seven for him. He kicks. Good kick, but it's uh, collected by Trenonen. Uh, the full back and actually back. Leon Neck. Good take by McKee. Yep. And Hossie in the action for the first time. He's going to take it to ground, and now they can move it. This time, Glancy decides to kick for uh, position. Oh, perfectly judged. Yep. Good kick. He tried one or two of those early in the uh, first half, and they didn't come off so well, but uh, that one. I think he's just, as I said, I think he's just finding his range. It's an unfamiliar pitch. It's yep. a bit wider than he normally plays on. And I think he's now, now just starting to get that range. Right. And there's the uh, number 17 going in for... Uh, Kazakhstan at uh, number 17 is uh, Manchikov, Sergei Manchikov, and uh, he's gone in to replace uh, Vladimir Shanik. So 
So Shami comes out and it's Panchakov come back into the action. Still he's taking up a position like he's like early hustle. I wouldn't do that if I was him. <laughs> Forward missed by the Pakistan, the Kazakhstan player, Pakistan, Kazakhstan player back there. Good pressure from Mark Wright again. And he's such a yep. such a tough player and gets around the pitch. His tackle count last week against Japan was just awesome. And the charge down, and it was uh, Hossi who did the charging. Those flowing locks. If, yep. he, if he'd realised where the ball had gone, I think he, he might well have got a try there. But Razakov was the man who was involved in it, let's see. He went back, chased back to number 12, got there. And they can clear it in touch. So we got 10 minutes on the scoreboard to play. It's Hong Kong 41, Kazakhstan nil. Yep, it's looking like yep. Division 1 rugby for Kazakhstan next season. Which, in the bigger scheme of things, Colin, might not be a bad thing. I mean, Korea have come back this year after a couple of years out and they've taken that opportunity to rebuild and, and they, you know, are back to right at the top of their game so hopefully for Kazakhstan it'll be a wake up call they'll go away and come back much stronger exactly. I, I think the top five needs Korea and, and Kazakhstan to be, to be up yeah. there competing but it's going to be very exciting to see the Philippine Volcanoes uh, exactly that'll be a, a next trip season. For, uh, for all of you guys two substitutes going in for uh, Kazakhstan uh, took a bath, uh, the number 22 Zendos took a bath. And also going in beside him, the uh, number 21, Kiriath, Alexander Kiriath, the 24-year-old down in. Uh, they have uh, taken out uh, Leon Nev, who had a pretty, sorry, a pretty good game as the uh, full-back, but under pressure, under enormous pressure throughout the uh, game. As we look into the uh, face of Ian Ridgway, the 32-year-old, great servant to uh, rugby, and especially here in Hong Kong. Yeah, Rid Ridgway's... Uh huge amount of respect in, in the Hong Kong rugby community. He's a, he's a ferocious scrummager mm. and has played a, a, a key part along with uh, Poland and, and uh, Nolan in the success of the Hong Kong football club team in the domestic competitions in recent years. Thank you. Oh, there's a... Oh, unfortunately it bounced the wrong way. Harris was there and uh, Hussey was there. They were all chasing it down. Lining up for a try. Yeah. Still fighting for it in there. A oh, very bad pass, but uh, lucky enough, uh, they were able to clear it just inside the uh, 22, but they're not out of danger yet. Bit of a snatch kick. Yeah. Yeah. I think he saw the uh, Rory Hussey bearing down on him, and that was enough to enough to <laughs> panic any man. Exactly, you and I would have panicked as well. Looks like an extra from snatch. <laughs> They said uh, Alexander Kiri has gone in there for uh, Kazakhstan. Long down in the uh, down to the line. And of course the uh, 14 men of uh, Hong Kong are uh, holding on and fighting away. And uh, the uh, Sinbin moving for McCusin, or not McCusin, the big for um, Alex. He's going to uh, come back in. Yeah. Like so. Meanwhile, Hong Kong in possession with Hussey. He's certainly been uh, yeah, in the action ball. since he came on. There's Clancy oh. making a oh, trying to make a, a goal through, but he's lost the ball. And it's gone forward, picked up cleverly by Lee Jones. Another Kazakhstan player down. Yeah. Certainly the, I think the the heat and humidity is starting to take its toll on, on the Kazakhs. 
that's the uh, the captain that was down at Drazikov he's going back to take up his position but uh, I suppose uh, somebody's going to be talking about the man at the match as far as the uh, game is concerned Simbin is done back in and also uh, Mr. Nick Poussin come back in and I'm sure Stephen Nolan will be hoping that this time he really can <laughs> sit down take his boots off Carl Windy the ball again there's going to be a push over try they're pushing and pushing and pushing and the referee is going to uh, take a Little backward step so he can see what's going on in there. And, uh, he's still giving the uh, penalty to uh, Hong Kong. And, uh, he's going to give Ward a penalty try. He is. He's awarded a penalty try. And I think that that Ian Ridgeway can take a lot of the credit for that. Ian, mm. I think, was uh, was right in the middle of that rolling ball as he had been in the the, the previous attack uh, on the other side of the pitch. He's he's talking about man of the men of the match uh, Ian's had a very very strong game um, you know I think Hong Kong pack have really stopped the Kazakhstanis from getting any sort of forward momentum and uh, you know Ian's been working away in the, the, the dark recesses of the front row Colin exactly working in the dungeon as they say Indeed. down there deep where it has to happen and here's Mike Lancy seven from seven it's eight from eight and he puts that one straight through so he converts the uh, penalty try stretches the uh, score out with the time running out and uh, meanwhile one of the players from Kazakhstan not too happy and uh, limping away is the uh, score 48 points to uh, nil in the meantime, we have the number 22, and that's uh, Anthony Haynes, running back with the bandaged left foot, left boot. Ball lost forward. Spilled by Renault Chavani from the from the restart. There, you'll be disappointed with with that. He's uh, he's only had limited time in uh, the A5N campaign this year. It's Charlie French and Dan Watson have held the second row starting spots for Hong Kong and have played very well throughout the, the campaign but Renault is a very strong impact player to, to have to come on and uh, uh, I'm sure he'll be, he'll be keen to join uh, his fellow forwards on the, on the score sheet in the, in the few minutes okay. remaining. Just uh, having a look uh, at uh, the uh, situation with them. Um, the Kazakhstan player, but I think he wants some treatment for uh, for his head. Uh, he's got the blood coming down, and uh, you can see the assistant has run on there. So also trying to uh, help him out with uh, Chigabaya. His blood coming from that uh, the cut he had, and uh, he's going to go back in Baratov. 27. Now he's played in two seasons of. Uh, Five Nations, which has been seen Five Nations Championship. But the uh, unfortunate thing, uh, as you mentioned earlier on, Robbie, that uh, they're going through a transition, a lot of youngsters coming in, some of these students, and they just don't have the, the resources to sort of encourage more guys to keep coming in and keep coming in. Yeah, I, I think that, um, you know, they... they a few years ago they were firmly ensconced as, as number two in Asia and unfortunately they've gone backwards from, yeah. from that but you know I think they I'm sure they know what what the issues are and the problems are and, and one can only hope that having a bit of breathing space in, in division one will allow them to to get the rebuilding in place that they need and, and to and to come back up exactly um, what about the the uh, growth of, uh, of uh, rugby in Hong Kong going steadily upwards all the time yeah fantastic we, we've got great growth up at all levels and you know the success of the national team is is contributing to the the explosion of interest in the game of the local community and, you know the big crowd here today 
lots and lots of locals um, come to support and watch the Hong Kong team and uh, yeah, That's I, I great, think yeah. both the 7s and the 15s are, are really, for men and women, are capturing the imagination of the, of the local population which is, which is great. And, and uh, earlier on we showed a piece and it was just ma uh, magic to see the, the development of the HSBC uh, in taking the uh, wrong to schools and colleges and everything. So that uh, is sort of suggesting that with that development program, a great future. Oh, I mean, HSBC's in the whole of Asia. support for all these grassroots programs and, you know, not just in Hong Kong but throughout the region on the back of the Asian Five Nations and the Asian Seven Series have been so, so helpful in... Uh, getting more and more youngsters out playing the game knowing the game and uh, ah, they, they can be very proud of the of the, the key role that they continue to play in in uh, rugby success in the region boys packing down into a scrum as we come down to uh, two and a half minutes to uh, to go with uh, hong kong leading by 48 points to nil the ball shoots out the back and can they start something from the back they're trying to start oh, good tackle big big tackle on do some shing, but they move it across to uh, this side and now they're giving Barry a chance, uh, Rowan and Barty a chance to uh, get something going. Bit of a collision between the two, but uh, ooh, was he taken out late? Yes, he was. And uh, by Glancy. I think Gla Glancy's had a big game today. Yep. Um, you know, I think his options have, have been a bit more varied and. Um, you know, he's, as we talked about, he's found his range with his kicking and 100%, you know, in, in terms of uh, points kicking, I, I, I think he'll be very happy with uh, with his performance today. Well, we've got a fierce shoulder charge from the opposition there, but he's up, he's all right, he's going to take the kick. Good kick, and he puts it into the corner. Meters from the uh, corner flag of the try line, and they go for a last effort in the uh, last minute of the game. I wouldn't bet against another rolling ball with yeah. that man Ridgeway. Yeah, I'm just looking at uh, Rory Hussey at the back of the, the lineup, and he might well be the receiver of this. And they aim for him, but uh, it didn't actually get there and it didn't stick. And the referee says it wasn't straight. Yeah, Alex Harris will be disappointed with the accuracy of his throw there, um, as you say, yep. pussy, primed, ready to go, if the, if the ball could have reached him. He always gives you the impression that he wants to be busy, you know, uh, Rory, he wants to get in there and get stuck in, always gives this impression all the time. Always gives me the, it gives me the impression he, he wants a haircut, right? <laughs> The pushover try has gone in. Great shot. Has it gone? Great shot. Where has it gone? He wants it, he wants it all to start again. Still hung on ball. Yeah, I'm sure the, I'm sure the boys would like to sign off with one last try here, Colin. They got something uh, up their sleeves as uh, Peter McTee is uh, talking to uh, Mike Clancy, and as you said, they're uh, very good combination together. The yeah. crowd getting right behind them. Big strike. It's going in. They can get it out. And yes, they can move it. To Clancy, he goes back inside. Slip up. Also, there was a there was an opportunity, but now the uh, cover has come over. Unless they go back to the and so that they can, they can take it over this side. And that's uh, Lee Jones taking it forward. Lee Jones knocked off the ball. They still have an opportunity. They're 12 meters out from the Kazakhstan line. Knocked back and thrown back by Shabay. Ridgeway taken high. Ridgeway's hand on the twit. And now uh, the pass went, went forward and uh, picked up. They can recircle it again. They cycle the ball came to Mike. The referee's coming back with a deliberate knock on there. Yep. A knock on. Increasing acts of desperation from Kazakhstan as we go into the final seconds. That's going to happen to Peter McTeague. 
Getting ready. I'll give it to Hussey. Cody Hussey wants it. He, he gives it to him. Now they move it. Move it out to uh, Houston. Houston tacking, taken down. And now they can go to the far side. Oh, beautiful ball. Beautiful kick. And straight into the arms of the man who deserves to try and eat gone one right at the death. Warren Barthy over there. A uh, lovely kick right across. Plenty of space over there for him. Beautifully worked by right. well weighted kick and, and really caps off a, a fantastic afternoon for, for Mike Lancey, who certainly would be my man of the match, Colin. Yep, I, I totally agree with you. I think a uh, lovely kick and uh, straight into the arms. Just gathered the ball and run over the line with it. So I'm delighted for uh, Rowan that he uh, he was because he, he contributed a great deal in the uh, first half and was a bit unlucky and uh, he got just rewards right at the end. Yeah, and I now we've the... got uh, we've got uh, Mike Glancy with a, another conversion. I think Kazakhstan had, had tried to mark Rowan out as a, as a danger man, but uh, as you say, great to see him get his name on the score sheet. And uh, can Glancy finish with 100%? Yes, he has. Straight through. Nine for nine, and our referee from uh, Japan, Mr. Ihisa, blows the uh, final whistle. The final whistle is a big victory. Not the final whistle, it's a big, big victory for uh, Hong Kong over uh, Kazakhstan. And unfortunately, uh, the players out there shaking hands for Kazakhstan. It means they won't be back here next year. They have to they go down to they go down to uh, relegation and it's the Philippines come up. So yeah, yeah it's been a, I think overall Hong Kong have been very happy yeah, with their campaign. Uh, and Kazakhstan disappointed clearly, but uh, they'll be back. Yeah. Yeah.